The way, however, decreases in employment in the manufacturing, business services, mining, transport, trade and construction industries. Total employment decreased by 144,000 or 1.3% when comparing June 2023 and June 2024. The year-on-year -year basic salary and wages increased by 4.4% between June 2023 and June 2024. There is still a big struggle when it comes to employment um, and particularly sustainable employment that is able to absorb the majority of our economy um, and you know civilians who are predominantly unskilled. And so the challenge is still very imminent and the crisis of employment is still a big problem. The local economy remained subdued in the first half of the year, weighed down by structural challenges and low confidence. The low growth translates to less jobs being created. When it comes to sustainable employment and people being able to keep jobs, that is still a challenge in the South African economy, firstly. But secondly, when you look at the even the quarter-on-quarter -quarter growth of 0.4%, the net um, is actually a decline because the net is negative if you compare 0 0.4 to 1.3 which is the decline in the year-on-year uh, -year basis there's a net loss of employment and so I think that must also be categorically stated that when you also look at the sectors that have the ability to absorb a lot of unskilled workers that is manufacturing mining, that is construction, as well as um, transport. Those sectors have shown that even on a quarter and quarter basis, they are not able to keep people productive and employed during this year. Casualization of the workforce seems to be on the rise, with data showing that full-time employment decreased while part-time employment increased. Gloria Safakomusi, SABC News, Johannesburg.